Illuminating Day, where every day is Sadie Hawkins Day. Woohoo! You ready to miss sweet thing? Yes, I am. Okay. Bachelor number one, you're placing a personal ad. How would you advertise yourself? <laughs> First of all, I don't need to place a personal ad, but if I did, I'd say available, one lean, mean love machine. Invest in ceiling mirrors and high wattage bulbs because you're going to want to keep the lights on, baby. Bachelor number two. I saw Shaky in Love and I totally groove on the idea of going out with the bard. Ooh. Can you write me a little love poem on the spot? Oh. Your lips are red, your eyes are blue. All I want to do is look at you. Okay, well, what if my lips weren't red and my eyes weren't blue? I still love you. And a dooby doo doo. <laughs> okay, uh, Bachelor number three. We're trapped in a roadside motel during a blizzard one night, and there's only one room and only one bed. So we snuggle up under the covers to get warm, and then what happens? We talk. Just talk? Yeah, at, at first, at night when the lights are out, people tell each other things they never tell each other during the day. I'd want to hear about everything. About your childhood, your favorite color, what you want from a man, what you want from life. Bachelor number three, what I want is a man like you. Seven million colors makes them sitting ducks for predators. Nature has made these males attractive to the females who consider their fiery plumage a sign of health. Have I just been going for fiery plumage? I have. My priorities are whacked. I've been judging guys on the very criteria I'm terrified of being held up to. Okay, that's it. Starting today, I'm on a manhunt, and I'm taking looks out of the equation. Act fast. Limited time offer. Ask me to the Sadie Hawkins dance. I'm still cold surfer. Hottie in the green sweater. Uh. Hey, ass in the green sweater. Keep dreaming, dude. She's gonna make me wait, but she'll ask me. Wait. Why am I dreaming? Stone Cold is hotter than me. Wait, that sounds sort of gay. Josh is available now. He probably likes big breasts, though. Don't all guys? Am I dreaming to think that Josh would ever consider going to the dance with me? On the other hand, Josh might be tired of getting hip bone with every hug and want a little cushion for his cushion. There are about 600 guys in this school. Josh's out of the picture. Three guys are out of the closet, so that makes the chances of Brooke asking me 596 to 1. Now it's getting even longer when you consider the fact that I have the body of a Tibetan monk. I hate my body. I hate my body. I hate my body. I hate my body. I, I hate, hate my, my body. body. We'll think it over once or twice. What we'll lasts the longest in this life? Character or rock hard fight? In the end, do you believe that beauty lies in what you see? Cause if you do, then baby, you've been deceived. Well, me. You want to be on the wrestling team? Drop five pounds. Next! Yo, baby, here's the 411. You have got to change that spare tire, yo. You're six pounds over your weight limit. Not only that, shoot, look at my six pack. Or what's left of it. Brooke once told me she loved my stomach. Did I ever tell you that? She told me that if her Maytag ever broke down, she wasn't worried because she could just wash her unmentionables on my abs. Yo, listen. What goes up must come down. Yo, I'm going to hook us both up, bro. See, I'm on this new weight loss plan. Yo, I will be back on the wrestling team and have a woman by the end of the semester. Word. Well, with what? It's called the mommy. It's a wrap and sweat system where you get tight in cellophane and then you just watch yourself dissolve like a sweet tart. The excess water drains in these Ziploc baggies strapped to your wrist. Why don't we just eat less and exercise more, sugar? Get serious, G. Yo, I've lost a pound and a half after a month on the mummy, man. Yo, 98 more pounds, and I'm back on the mat. Cool. All right. Next. Damn, Fat Albert, lay off the Sara Lees. The teenage years are indeed a time of exploration, of questioning. What are you talking about? You're gazing at Josh Ford's bod, man. Look, no sweat. I have a fourth male cousin who will enjoy his coupling with other men as well. I'm down with it. I don't want to do him. 
I want to be him. No, correction. I want his abs. How many hours do you think he spends working out at the gym? I could lift anvils for years and not look like that. I'm genetically doomed. It's difficult, isn't it? Girls think they have it so bad? Please, ever since GQ magazine in the late 80s age of vanity dawned, being a male and living up to that muscle beach standard has become a societal hazing ritual for male tots and boys alike. Totally. I mean, and being so skinny and hairless, lacking any defining male characteristic of hunkdom. I pity you, man. A real G.I. Joe would have shoulders as wide as a refrigerator, a waist as small as a coffee grinder, and biceps three times bigger than Mark McGuire's. Now, that would be a freak show, babies. Likewise, a real Barbie would have an 18-inch waist and literally topple over from the weight of her protruding cans. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? Well, let's talk about the effects of these unrealistic standards of beauty. Girls are choosing to live like cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy, vomiting, two or three times a day, trying to measure up to Vogue's idea of beauty. The patriarchy wants us to keep our minds busy thinking about our bodies, but we can reclaim our power. This week, for example, is the Sadie Hawkins dance. Now, I love Sadie Hawkins. I live for Sadie Hawkins. I named my pug Sadie Hawkins. <laughs> because for once, girls don't have to sit around waiting for boys to choose them. Now, Sadie, our dog-faced Diana, may have been symmetrically challenged, but she knew that she deserved love. And she went after it. And she got it. So, people, today, I leave you not with a pile of homework, but with a thought to ponder. Why is it only the beautiful are invited to the dance of life? when we know that all God's children got a boogie. You hear that? What? That's the sound of no one asking me to the dance. Why aren't they asking you, Harrison? Well, I'll tell you, Sam, it's because my chest is concave. No, it's not. My chest is concave. Nevertheless, you're clearly a girl, so give me the girl's perspective. Am I OK looking? Uh, you have nice eyelashes. OK, that's enough. It is not. You are totally cute. <laughs> oh my god. Tune alert, 6 o'clock. Hello, Harrison John. Though you are not the dream boy I have bondage fantasies about, that would be the hard-bodied stone cold. You would be an adequate setting for the fiery ruby that is April Tuna. Please pick me up Friday at 8 o'clock with expensive hothouse corsage in hand. You know what, April? You're too late. I snagged him first. Hey, sorry, April. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if you're alpha male enough for me anyway, you scrawny Beta Harrison John. Ouch. Rejected by April Tuna. By the way, you don't really have to go with me. We might as well go with someone who we'll have fun with, right? Who won't judge us. Besides, aren't you a little sick of mooning after the unattainable? Like Brooke? Like Josh? No comment. I played the fifth. Mm -hmm. Y'all, later this week when I lose my last 20 pounds, I'll be skeleton thin for the dance. Then all I'll need is the perfect, gorgeous, muscly bow. Yeah. All right, girls, that is it. I am asking my high buttock stone cold to the dance. I know for a fact he's available as Brooke. He's taking a pass. Whoa, Mary Cherry, I'm sorry. I happen to know that he has a thing for caliente girls, okay? Uh, he's begged me many times to roll my arms for him. He's been on my to-do list for weeks. Yeah, excuse me. Nicole Julian and Stone Cold are like fashion and anorexia. They go together, thank you. Well, my, my, looks like we've got a cat fight on our hands. What do you say we have ourselves a little contest? Whoever loses the most weight by Friday gets to go to the dance with Stone Cold, 180 pounds of prime beefcake. You're on. Hey, bro. Oh, hey. So how about that Sadie Hawkins thing, huh? Yeah. Girls asking the guys? Mm -hmm. Beating these girls off with a stick. I bet you are. <laughs> but I'm still holding out for the prettiest girl in school. Josh, I want to be more than just the prettiest girl in the school, remember? So did you uh, ask anybody yet? Or? We broke up, OK? Josh, I, we can ask whoever we want. Okay? Okay. You know, wow, those Lincoln logs are really cool. Because they're, they're brownies cut into skinny rectangles. And it's kind of festive, you know, for President's Day and all. You have nice hair. 
Thanks. Hey, do you want it? I probably shouldn't eat it anyway. I gotta lose a few. See you, Carl. Tell me you're asking that Ken doll to the dance. Carmen, I expect better from you. Look at Sam. She's not out chasing hubba hubba studlies just because the media tells her she should value a muscular torso. Instead, she's going with Harrison. <laughs> hey. Don't be upset, my little anti-bicep. <laughs> I'm sorry, come on. You know you're still my favorite activist in training. <laughs> I'm star sensitive. <laughs> Like some lawn with sure. <gasps> My name is Mr. Calorie. A talcum scale? I know this company. It's a diet plan targeted specifically at unhappy teenage girls. I saw it on a talk show called Horrifying Trends. Answered prayers. <gasps> Look. What? There's an ample and tasty meal here of a celery stick and a bullion cube and a dime sized breath mint for dessert. Girls, our contest begins right now. This is our Stone Cold Battle Headquarters. Someone's got a lot of homework. I'm, I'm, I'm working on an extra credit essay for English on Franny and Zoe. I love that book. Although, it's not Salinger's best teenage symbol of America gone awry, but... That would be... Holden Caulfield, Catcher in the Rye. Man, I reread that book every summer. I feel like Holden, you know, searching, slightly tortured. Okay, that's a little bit too much information. <laughs> no, actually, I think that we all feel like Holden, you know? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Holden was also horrified and wanted to climb into a hole and die when his mom picked him up from school. <laughs> Harrison, um, do you want to go to the dance with me on Friday? Okay. So what do I do with the baggie? It looks like a bladder bag. Yo, man, you just stick it up your sleeve like Bobby glasses or a Kleenex. Then what you do is you just empty it when it starts to slosh. Next Saturday, have you ready for wrestling? And that's looking good for the women. And you wrap me. Sugar, am I fat? I mean, you could tell me if I'm fat. Hello. Hey, tried to call you last night. Oh, yeah, I went to the mall with Carmen, and I bought this amazing dress. You're going to flip over it. It's like a cross between a New York Jennifer Love Hewitt and a hooker, and it was totally on sale. What? You're not going to be embarrassed to be seen with me if that's what you're worried about. No, you look great. You always look great. Okay, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. See you at lunch. Dude, did you tell her? Yeah. Yeah, of course I did. And she didn't beat the hell out of you when you told her that you were forsaking her lack of curves for someone more rainbow-dacious than she. No, she was cool. A good man. Only up to that cherry tree. Fight <laughs> the tyranny, girl. Step on a real scale. You should weigh at least 130. Look at you. The Santa Ana's would knock you over. Gain 10 pounds, okay? Next. I can't resist a weigh-in. Subtract at least a pound for the acrylic nails and the underwire. That's part of a bra. You're too skinny, Nicole. Look at the chart. You're not at a healthy weight. Well, these charts were obviously published in Indiana. Okay, thank goodness that we have Mr. Calorie, an accurate barometer of our obesity. Don't you girls get tired of being so lookist all the time? I mean, you are just as misguided as that stupid symbol on the back of your cheerleader jacket. The Glamazon icon reflects the size two contour that every girl should aim for. That means you busty go lightly. Yeah, well, along with being eerily and heinously similar to a trucker mud flap, your symbol is an officially condoned image of anorexia. Well, maybe you could be a role model to us, Lily. Demonstrate how it's all about inner beauty for you. I wonder if there's a way for you to prove that you've managed to escape the media's influence. Yes, hello, my fair Lily. Could you chickpeas stop squabbling and move this way in along? I've got a crap burning a hole in my underoos and I need an accurate weight gauge before I eliminate. I'm doing a personal experiment on liquid. Emory Dick is no doubt available for Friday night, Lily. Are you? Tell you what, hon. If you actually appear in public with a little dick and show him a good time, then I will change the Glamazon icon to reflect that of the average woman's tragically dumpy proportions. But if I can prove that happiness is related entirely to facade by, um, making this tuna fish over here into something resembling that of a woman, 
that my glam is on Archer stays triumphant like cadaverous. Hey, Emery. Wanna go to the dance? You're in luck, Miss Esposito. I'm delighted to inform you that I'm still available. Great. Tuna! Walk three paces behind me. Let the record show this is a war between inner and outer beauty. <laughs> Next. Okay, don't tell Lily, but I really do want to ask Josh to the dance. And oh. it's not just because he is a babe, but he's really nice. And I know that you kind of liked him after you gave him that, um, alley high, and I'm wondering if you still do. Like Josh Ward? No, no, no. Anyway, I'm going with Harrison. Great. And, um, I was kind of wondering, since you're a writer and all, if you could help me find the words to ask him. Carm, I'm not exactly a love genius. Well, you have to be better than me. I mean, the last time I tried, we ended up talking about Lincoln Logs. Okay. Well, let's think. What does a gorgeous person worry about? They worry about people only liking them because of their looks. So what I suggest you say is something like, Josh, I know girls usually go for you because of your brawny shoulders and your tapered waist, but I know you're more than that. I see the boy in junior high who stayed after school to help Janine, the one-armed janitor, pick up the chairs before she mopped the floors. He actually did that? Yeah. Good God, that's hot. I've got to get this down. This is pathetic. It barely lifts a bar in the last set. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's almost 50 pounds. You're gonna feel it on the third set, particularly since you just started out. How long have you been lifting? Since the seventh grade. But now that I'm on the lookout for a date for the dance, I gotta be working out, feeling good. You and Brooke, you, you definitely over? Lenny K put it best. It ain't over till it's over. If I can just work off this flabby ass and get disciplined for God's sakes, I think she'll ask me. You probably going with McPherson, huh? Um, she asked me, yeah. Yo, scrub! This is Ginger Surf Laments. What are you doing here? Power walking. Getting in shape for my baby. Seems the woman of my dreams has been dreaming of me, Harrison. Miss Lily Esposito has asked me to the dance. She did, huh? Good for you, Emery. Hey, Josh, can you spot me again? Yeah. I suggest we do a dream girl doubleheader. You and Brooke and me and Lily. And a hot tub limo. Life doesn't get any better than that. You're going with Brooke? How did you swing that? Um, she... Ask me. Nice job, scrub. Screwing over the dude who's saving your chickenette from being squashed by the bar? She was probably just worried no one else would ask him. As a matter of fact, two women asked me for it. Well, how can they resist such an Adonis? You can't even lift the bar. Let's go, sugar. Wait, Josh? A little help? A moment of your time, about Friday night. Uh -huh. I do hope that you're going that classic sexy look and not that East Village combat boot with the gown look. No, might I suggest a nice front slit dress, camouflage your unsightly calves, and maybe a velveteen choker to take attention away from your head, which is slightly too large for your body. I'm gonna wear whatever the hell I want to wear. Got it, Emery? Why did you invite me to the dance? What's the matter with you? Why are you all sweaty? Did you invite me out of pity? Harrison, why would I pity you? Well, I'm not exactly in the Josh Ford category, am I? Or. Yeah, am I? What are you talking about? That's just so... Hey, look, Emery rented this hot tub limo, and now Lily is begging us to double date with them so she doesn't have to be alone with the dick. You're going with Sam since when? I thought we were going together. What? Harrison. Brooke asked me, but I was going to tell you. When? When? When you showed up to our house with two corsages? I didn't want to hurt your feelings, Sam. Well, it's a little late for that. Oh, crap. This is a mess. Okay, so who are you going to take? Yeah, Harrison, who are you taking to the dance? Sammy. Hey. I would really love to go to the dance on Friday, but nobody's asked me. What should I do? Josh, don't do this, okay? What? You said I was free to go with anyone I want. Remember, Brooke? Sam? You know what, Josh? I know a lot of girls go for you because of your brawny shoulders and your tapered waist. Great. I'd love to go to the dance with you. Harrison, of all people? Could it be because, oh, I don't know, he belongs to me? He's been my best friend for years? Oh, you know what? I guess I missed that luggage tag, Sam. I didn't see the S branded on his ass. Brooke, while you're moving your pawns around your chessboard, you should remember that Harrison has real feelings for you. I am the one doing the right thing here, Sam. Not the superficial thing like you, okay? Harrison possesses the qualities that I should be looking for. He's sweet, and he's literate, and he doesn't spend more time on his hair than I do. What I don't understand is why you're going with a guy that you have absolutely no feelings for. A guy that you've always considered just to be some dumb jock. Who says I don't have feelings for Josh that are real? 
Do you? Good for you, Sam, for going for it. You sneak into my closet and you wear my clothes, so why shouldn't you just go after all my other hand-me-downs? You see? You still like him. You're, you're worried that you made a mistake and now you can't handle the fact that he's going with me to the dance. Brooke, you are so transparent! You know what? Fine. All right. Just to prove to you that I have him out of my system, let's all go together, okay? We'll do some fun slamming Emery Dick hot tub action. Fine. Fine. Good. Done. Whatever. I'm really looking forward to going with Josh. Maybe he's ready for someone more mature. Mature? You? Please. You still wear training bras. Well, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle flat. So, ladies, little birdie told the fox here that you popular tease has got a little gamble going. Rumor has it I'm the brass ring at the end of a bet. Makes me feel like a piece of meat, you know? I like that feeling. Just remember, Stone Cold, I like my meat rare. Hey, Stone Cold, are you familiar with the country called Ecuador? Because I could buy it for you. <laughs> so, um, when am I getting an invite, ladies? Listen, Stone Cold, keep the faith. You show up at the dance ready and oiled, and uh, one of us will glide toward you. Take you by the hand, feel you up, and that's the lady that done run you to the dance. You know, I was thinking, the new Glamazon icon, we should go with a woman of substance. Say, I don't know. Hmm. Janet Reno? <gasps> the Novak, after school. Find a way in and make over. Be there. I chickened out, I couldn't ask him, but I've got a new strategy. I go stag. Josh, go stag. I show up super empowered and casual. I happen upon him at the punch table and invite him to shake his groove thing. Yeah, but Josh isn't going stag. Oh my God, please don't tell me that they are back together. Don't tell me that I missed the 15 minutes when he and Brooke were actually broken up. No, he isn't going with Brooke. He's going with Sam. She didn't tell you. Time again, not all of us are endowed with your quick silver tongue, Sam. <sighs> You're such a hypocrite. Carmen, he asked me, okay? <sighs> Look, I'm coming clean here. I did the asking, but he told me to ask him. Carmen, I wish it didn't turn out this way. I wish Josh were going to the dance with you, but... But he's not. He's going with you. Yeah. And I'm ashamed to say that I actually want to go with him. Can I... I don't know, it makes me feel pretty. Right? I'm so sick of being the girl with the personality. I hate my thighs. Mm, me too, I hate my thighs. Yeah, well, I hate my skin. Yeah, well, I hate my mouth and I hate my fat hands. I gave her a blowout that would have straightened the Pacific Coast Highway, and now look! I'm scared April Tune is the black hole of beauty. No. She's the ultimate makeover challenge. Listen up, chicken of the sea. Our Glamazon icon, our very lifestyle philosophy is at risk here, and I don't lose. Got it? Get ready to strike a pose or else. <laughs> God, 
please let my invisible pill kick in? Harrison, um, I left my corsage. Could you pin it on me before we get to the dance? Uh, yeah, sure, bro. Okay, cool. Glad to help. Such a gentleman, huh? Okay. It, um, is something wrong? Uh, no, no, it's cool. I'm just a little stiff. Yeah, I bet you are. Hey, I'm just going to tell you this once, Ford. Watch your mouth. Oh. Sam, you look absolutely beautiful in your dress tonight. We're going to dance our asses off. I can hardly wait. Stop the car. Harrison, you and I are going to finish this right now. You know, bring it on. Uh, uh, Harrison. Oh, Couldn't even wait till the bed was cold, huh, Harrison? Is that the best you got for it? I expected more from Mr. Big Man on campus. I don't see you throwing any punches, James Dean. Are you okay? No, I'm not. It's the sweated off system. I'm dehydrated. It's my 18th bag. Well, I've been working out for three days straight. It hurts to breathe. Well, now what? Drive. Oh, wait, what happened? Harrison popped me in the jaw. Didn't you, Harrison? Yeah, yeah, I did. And I'll do it again. Harrison, you fought. Well, you deserved it. Interesting. I hate violence. <clears throat> Ladies, the final way in. Mr. Callery, the results, please. Your results, heifers, are identical. Damn! We weigh the same gun. It's because we haven't eaten anything in three days. God, I never should have snuck that sip of water last night. I'm such a pig! Well, who gets stone cold if it's a draw? Girls, I have a proposition. I have here in my insanely expensive mink evening bag the strongest laxative the world has ever known. Only the Pentagon and an elephant keeper at the National Zoo know its secret formula. Its street name? <laughs> Convulse. Is it safe? Not that it matters. Eh, it's as safe as an H-bomb, but it's effective. Now we all take equal doses and weigh in at the dance in one hour. Whoever has the most successful diuretic experience wins the Stone Cold Bodhi. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. Nick, grab your wall out of Liza Doolittle. Tuna! Let's roll. Tuna. Time to show off our experiment and get Lily to kiss my triumphant ass. Okay, we're stone cold. Because when he sees how good we look, he'll be putty in our hands. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? I am. I feel pretty, pretty horny. Are you okay? You feel kind of hot. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> so do you think Brooke and Harrison have figured out the only reason we're here is strictly for revenge purposes? No, I think we fooled them. Did you eat something you're allergic to or something? Um, excuse me. Um, do you want to dance? Um... I'd love to, but I, I can't turn my neck. I'm so stiff. I think I'm paralyzed. Oh, my God. Should we call an ambulance? You know, this is self-induced. I lifted too much to impress you and myself. Harrison, you didn't need to change your body to impress me. Didn't I? I've been standing in front of you for years, and you never noticed me as me. Why the sudden change? You're right. 
I guess this wasn't very well thought out, was it? So I was just a pity invite. No, Harrison, not at all. Oh, God, I just I keep thinking that I, I can either have physical attraction or intellectual attraction, but I can't have both. My problem is, is that I just need to stop being so biased and then stop compartmentalizing. Let me guess, I'm in the brains department, but not the hot bin? Would you want to go out with me? You know, date me. If I wasn't... You weren't pretty? Yeah. Thought so. <laughs> I'll go get you some Advil, okay? We'll do this another night. to the beauty industry sleight of hand. He was willing to buy me as is. Your date? I'm tired of women who only see me for my muscular definition. April Tune is the first woman to see my soul. <laughs> Josh, would you like to dance? Okay, so let me get this straight. You tell me that my legs suck and that I have a lollipop head and yet you're the one who's hurt just because you have special Aquaman hearing or whatever you call it and you heard me say that I wished I was invisible? Look, I say dumb things, okay? Around women as beautiful as you, I'm awkward. Emery, come on. Let's just go dance, okay? You're only in the shadows, right? So no one really knows that you're with me? No, come on, you're totally overreacting. Am I? Look me in the eye and tell me that it's not true that the only reason you're going with me to this dance is because I'm just a political stance. Thought so. Here. I'm ducking home, but I wanted you to have these. Beautiful flowers for a beautiful lady. At least on the outside. I feel like I just smoked 75 cigarettes. Drank a dozen pots of French roast and topped it off with jalapeno nachos. I feel like I just gave birth to every internal organ I have. And all this for what? A hunk of metal and a guy who flunked long division. Girls, maybe, uh, maybe it's time we end this scale's tyranny over our otherwise happy-go-lucky adolescence. Ow. Oh. What the hell is in your purse, Mary Cherry? A sledgehammer? Yes. I carry it in my bag in case I still buy a car that's more expensive than mine, so I can give little offender a good ding. You thinking what I'm thinking? Mr. Calorie? It's hammer time. Sip your OJ slowly, Joshua. Your blood sugar's gonna be fine in no time. Yes, ma'am. Wow, this is a fun dance where nobody dances. But we had quite an evening, eh, gang? Sweat baggies, elephant laxatives, a Hindenburg lingerie disaster, lifting weights to the point of paralysis. Do you really think those things make you more attractive to the opposite sex? Damn, did they leave? Oh, no, 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 Principal Hall, oh. I'm sorry. Um, I guess to answer your question, I... I think we do these things because we all just want to feel loved. I am not young, I am not thin, and I suspect I look nothing like the women in the magazines, but my beloved husband, Olaf, fell in love with me. All right, I lost my sight to diabetes four years ago, and when I did, a dark shadow fell over my life. I thought my life was over. And then Olaf walked into my support group, and my curse became a blessing. Because, for the first time in my life, I learned that in a perfect world, a person falls in love not because of a pretty face, but because of a heart. Oh. 
sell you, baby. Mm. They're playing us all. Mm -hmm. May I have this dance? Oh, well, this is the dance. Somebody's got to do it. Oh, hey. Carmen, may I have this dance? Hey, Lily. Hey. Time to bargain. If we did fashion a kinder, gentler glamazon, could you live with 135 pounds in a size 8? A cup. C. Not budging on that one, hon. Deal. Ready then. Oh, yeah.